to this dish it's absolutely perfect for the end of the summer because vegetables are in the prime of the season so we are making a dish that is completely delicious and very vegan absolutely but don't be scared it's actually something that we serve as an accompaniment or on its own it's been made very famous by a little rat a few years ago yes we are making ratatouille and not ratatouille or whatever ways I've heard it before. It's a dish that comes from the south of France, Provence, which I had a chance to cook when I was a younger buck. Now we have a few things remaining to be done. Two, actually, for us to get cooking and for you to subscribe. So let's go. All right, so for a good ratatouille, you need some onion. So that's what we're gonna start with. We are going to peel one and we're gonna dice it in this case, I don't need to do super fine job because it's going to cook down. And also when you come to the root, a lot of you are throwing it away, but you can just kind of like go around it and keep dicing. So you are only going to waste literally the minimal, which is that little piece of root that yes, I love meat that you can throw away. Once we are done with the onions, we're going to add them to the pot with some olive oil and some bay leaves, and we're going to start sweating them out. We don't want to get any color. All we want is to cook them down. While the onions are cooking, I'm gonna start working on the pepper. I got a red and orange, but you could get whichever color you want. We are going to cut around the center and then we are going to remove the pith because it's a little bit bitter, but don't throw it away. You can still use it for sauce or soup or even as a salad. I mean, it's still pretty good. Then we're gonna add it to the pot and we're gonna cook it down as well with the onions for another 15 minutes. I will then add my tomato sauce that I made from the garden tomatoes. We're gonna give that a stir and we're gonna again let it cook down until the waters disappear. While this is cooking, we're gonna start working on the vegetables. I'm gonna start with my green zucchini, which I will take the end and I'm gonna slice it in half. Then I will put it on a mandolin. And if you don't have a mandolin, that's okay. You can also use a knife. So that's the thickness that you kind of want, right? Not too, too thin, otherwise it's just gonna go to mush. Then we'll move on to the yellow squash and we'll do the exact same thing. We'll then move on to the eggplant and we'll keep the same thickness, same width. And then we'll finish with the tomatoes. Tomatoes can be slightly bigger because obviously they are a bit softer and it will cook faster. We'll then grab some cloves of garlic, which I will peel off and slightly cut up. And I will add them to the pot with some lemon zest. And I will also make a chiffonade of basil, basil, based on where you are in the world. Actually, drop me in a comment, let me know where you're watching my video from. Then we are going to remove the bay leaves. We're gonna give that one final stir and we're gonna let that cook for probably two to three minutes. I don't wanna bruise the basil, basil. Then we're gonna take it out of the heat because we are going to build a vegetable over it, right? So you don't need to switch pot, which is pretty amazing because I don't like cleaning anything. So we're gonna grab easily one of each and we're gonna go around like the merry-go-round. I don't need to explain to you, it's pretty simple. Make sure you keep the same pattern and you go to the first layer, then you move on to the second layer. Then we'll do a little hat and we'll place some basil. Um, you can put as many, as little as you want. As you can tell, I love basil, but trust me, it will really make a big difference of flavors. You can also add some rosemary sometime, up to you. Then once you're done, you're gonna add some seasoning. So we're gonna go heavy on the salt, on the pepper, and I'm gonna add some olive oil. It's a pretty healthy dish considering there's only one fat, which is olive oil. Then we'll place it in your oven at 375 for about 45 minutes. Actually, an hour later. Yes, I did cook it for an extra 50 minutes to get a beautiful golden brown color. And you could stop there, but why stop? You've seen my video before, you know I like to kind of like go with the extra mile, so we're gonna plate it. A little bit like they do in the movie Ratatouille. So I'm gonna start by putting the piperad, which is the onions and the peppers and the garlic. Then we'll top up with the layers that I tried to keep together. And finally, I'll put one more layer over top so it looks nice and pretty. I also use some of the baked garlic. And then we'll finish it with some fresh basil. Once again, it's not only flavors, but it's also some beautiful green contrast. And I'll finish it with some fleur de sel from my hometown. Now, let's eat. And here is another delicious recipe, perfectly on season right now. End of the summer, vegetables are in their prime, and it's fairly easy to do. If you enjoyed this recipe, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to try it soon if you allow me and I will catch you on the next episode. The south of France, Provence, I'm transported and I hope you will be too.